Where? Where did my stitchy bug go? Where did it go? another episode of my crazy stitching madness I think <laughs> I think we are actually into number 46 we're getting closer and closer to 50 I don't think it's very special though <laughs> anyway it is Saturday it is the 27th of November and we are less than a month to Christmas. Oh my God, what happened to November? What happened to autumn? The first snow has fallen in my parts of Sweden today and it was like the Black Friday weekend and we decided to go to Ikea. <laughs> yes. So it wasn't so bad at first. We were there pretty early and uh, yeah, but after a few hours, we decided to go home. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm telling you all this. Anyway, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to three ladies at first. I'm going to say thank you to more. Hold on. Notes. I want to say your names correctly. First and for foremost, thank you, Martina, Celia, and Corinne, for all the cups of coffee. You girls, you guys gave to me. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you very much. It was very uh, generous of you and uh, your donation will come very handy now when I'm going to send away uh, this huge giveaway all of you have been waiting for. So thank you very much. Uh, as I always say, all the cups of coffee all of you has given me goes straight back into the channel so I can show you the things. I just hit the lamp. Never mind. Um, and I have another person I want to say thank you to, which surprised me. Who surprised me today? Today in the car going to Ikea. I was like, what? <laughs> Mize from Denmark. Sweet Mise, she gave me Thor. Thor came to me in an email. You remember Thor? Here's a nice picture of my own little Jamie. <laughs> and the pattern is called Thor Battles Jormangan? Yeah. I will just put the name here instead of just mispronouncing everything. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's going to be very, very hard to resist <laughs> kidding this one up and start stitching it. Because I promised myself no new starts in 2022. I'm like saying it to me like a mantra, you know, over and over again, every day. No new starts in 2022. No new starts in 20. Oh, wait a second. Let me correct that. No new full coverage starts in 2022. I have a lot of kits, which I will talk in my video about plans for 2022. Um, I have all my kits, small kits, which I want to enter with in um, Whipco for 2022. And most of those will be new starts, so they don't count. But no more full, no full coverage starts in 2022. You, 
you notice that it's very difficult to say. It's still very difficult to say. So, I don't know how I'm going to resist starting it, but I'm going to fight it. But maybe I will have wool. Missy, thank you very much. Very appreciate it. Uh, and it was actually uh, a Christmas present from her. So thank you. So clearly you happy Merry Christmas, Miss it to you too. So before we head into the very small section of cross stitching, I will just go to the announcement of this amazing crinkle crinkle this amazing kit from Gecko Rouge fully kitted with fabric and threads the paper pattern you will get the digital pattern as well if you want to we're just going to email Gecko Rouge once we know who the winner is and I know who the winner is and there is also of course I need to show this as well another paper felt as well there is also a matching needle minder very importante yes so I have filmed my um, how do you call it? You know, the random YouTube comment picker. I've filmed it on the camera, so I will just cut it in here so you guys can see that I did it the correct way. So you don't think like I'm fooling you or anything. You know, maybe you feel that it's unfair, maybe. I don't know. Let's just uh, take the video. Let's take a look at the video. Congratulations! You will not be disappointed. Oh my god, it's perfect. And Daniela has won a giveaway before from me. <laughs> she won the Justice, the Lady Justice Mirabilia. Can you imagine? I mean, how lucky is she? Congratulations, Daniela. I will comment on your comment. I will um, email you. No, I will actually want you to email me. Yes. And then we will talk about sending stuffs and all that. All right. And then I want to say, you know, thank you every single one of you who commented 
on my video. I knew I was going to get a lot more comments than I usually do. I usually get a bump up, you know, in subscribers when you have the giveaways. But you guys, you just blew me away. It was overwhelming. I wrote that in my community uh, tag. <laughs> it was, you know, it was overwhelming. And I have taken the time to answer each and every one of you, your, you know, comments, because you took the time to tell me about your favorite book. And I, I enjoy that so much. Some of you has even um, shared some, some memories from reading when you were young, and I just loved it. Thank you very much for sharing that. I, I really appreciated that. And all the books I have found in my audio app, I have added and sometimes that certain book hasn't been in, in the list. I have chosen another book. Some of them I have added. Uh, there hasn't been like an audio book. I've added the, the ebook. So maybe I will, you know, read some of it just to share something with my viewers. So thank you. Big virtual hug to each and every one. So, and I enjoyed this giveaway. And I truly think, I mean, I, I love my Mirabilias. I do. I seriously do. I love a lot more other stuffs as well. So, but my full coverage pieces are, as you all know, I think you all know that by now, that it's very special to me. It is home, it's therapy, therapy, ther uh, yeah, therapy. It's, um, it's where I feel the most comfortable and where I get to relax and reload and sometimes, you know, uh, block out uh, hard times, you know, so I truly believe that each and every one should have at least one full coverage project whip to play with, you know. So I'm sure that there will be more of these giveaways in the future. So, and I'm thinking that it will mainly be like Gecko Rouge and Paint Free Crafts. So I think that was all for now, like, you know, it's going to be a lot of talking today. I think I usually just talk more than show things. So the giveaway is done. Lucky you. So I will try not to turn around too much. And every time I get close and then I pull back and then all the lighting is changing. I, I don't like that. I don't know how you do that. Maybe I need more lights. I have like uh, one and a half meter maximum times one and a half meter around here where I can, you know, have my things and <laughs> do my video. So, <clears throat> but to all of you, I, I had 121 comments. So for the 120 that didn't win the awesome kit from Gecko Rouge, you will have another chance of winning something very, very nice later in this video. And you don't want to miss that. No, you don't. Either, you know, you can just skip ahead and see where you can find it, or you can just keep watching. <laughs> it's your choice. So, uh, we are going to talk a little bit about the whips. Uh, and yes, my stitchy bog kind of took a hike. It happens sometimes. I'm very surprised that it happened to me and that it happened now. So, we have the Mervember situation here because it's still November and I started, you know, the week 
after my latest floss tube stitching on my Lady of Mystery here. And every second day I stitch on her and uh, every second day I stitched on Lilith of Labrador here. And I was enjoying it a lot. Well, I was enjoying it. I was enjoying Lilith a little bit more because she had different colors in her skin. And, you know, I started stitching with the water lilies in her skin right away. So it was really nice and fancy. But then some things happened and I'm not happy about it. And the things that happened just, yeah, it just took, took my stitchy bug away. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you Lady of Mystery first and let's hope, let's hope that things don't fall to the ground. So now I need, I always, you know, miss, do, miss, I don't miss it. I always forget to take it off the scroll bar. Let's see if I can do this. No, wait, 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 wait. Okay. So let's take a look at my lady, a mystery. I'm backing up here. Here she is. Ooh, 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 ooh. She's looking amazing, isn't she? She's going to look so good on my wall, isn't she? But will I ever finish her? Right now? How I feel? No. But I, I have to, you know, give myself, you know, a head slap, you know, to get on with it. But my problem is this part I came all the way up and as I told you I found this kind of stitching just not my thing you know and you know I only have her hair left and the frame left so it's not like I have a lot left to do but it's not I'm not enjoying it as I'm enjoying just stitching her Anyway, so I came all the way up here and you can see that I've made a stitch here and that's because, you know, the fabric is sliding pretty much in my Omnic frames and that is why, come on, light, that is why I don't like Omnic, Omnic frames, the quantum frame, but you know, they are uh, a good price and they ship fast and everything i'm very pleased with it this, this customer service is great so it's not like i'm buying their frames so no worries but i sold it like with stitching like a tube so then to to get the tension so but still you know <clears throat> if i do like this you can see here that you, you know, the fabric I have left here is not a lot. So when I came here and realized that I need seven more stitches up and I will end up here somewhere. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I really don't. I wasn't too happy about it, which means I can't keep it on my scroll bar. And then I'm like, okay, so what am I going to do now? But again, you know, Kat, Catherine, my sweet friend in Sweden, you know, the English, the English girl in Sweden. Yeah. Uh, um, Kat from Cat Talks. Head over to her channel. Head over to Instagram to follow her. She makes amazing um, 
floss tube vlog. I love it. She is so creative and she always has, you know, great, you know, ideas and solutions to so many things. So she said, well, just, you know, it is time to start to stitch in hand. And I like that suggestion a lot. So I was thinking, okay, it's not that bad, Linda, because I like stitching in hand, you know, sitting an hour in bed in the evening and do some stitches in hand. I actually like that. That is how I stitched my Histoff uh, finished piece. I showed you in my last floss too, the one that um, DJ Brown gifted me. So I'm thinking once the memorabilia stitchy bug is back, I will fix it. I will, I will make it, I promise. But I had to put it away because it just, it made me, you know, I've had a lot of bad luck with Lady of Mystery. You know, I ran out of, of DMC. I, I ran out of uh, water lilies. I don't like, you know, that the beads are like everywhere. And now this. So I put it away and I was like, well, I have Lilith of Labrador where I can stitch on. I can stitch on. So I did, and I was enjoying it. I was stitching her skin, I was stitching her face and it was looking so good. Oh, by the way, have you guys seen Tina stitches? I've talked about Tina before. Head over to her channel. We like Tina. We do. But she always excuses herself for opening her project bags that she hasn't opened them before she started film. I know that people, some people are annoyed by the crinkling when we're, you know, crinkling with paper and plastic. I guess because you're wearing earphones and it's loud. I don't know. But project bags? How can you find that annoying? Oh, we love the sound of opening a project bag. Don't you? I love it. Just like crinkling. Anyway, so before I continue, you have to stop me. Why didn't I tell you about the fabric? Yes, I'm Mirabilia, Lady of uh, Mystery. She is stitched on 28 count hand dyed fabric, moss ruin from the Crafty Kitten. Yes. Okay, stitched with two threads over two. Okay, now we can move to Lilith, who is stitched on a 28 count. Uh, I guess hand dyed uh, fabric from Picture This Plus. I don't know. Do they hand dye actually, or do they fabric dye, like machine dye stuff? I don't know. And here is my progress. And you guys, seriously, she's looking so good. I really like her a lot. I almost want to start stitching on her again, but I was stitching along. I think, had I done anything of her face the last time you saw her? I'm not sure, but <clears throat> yeah, I came to this part here. I don't know if it was, I think it was before the last video. And I had to stitch one part too much, so I had to frog it. I was like, fine, come here, light. Thank you. And I stitched all her face. And then I came back down here. No, I came over here. And here I noticed that there aren't supposed to be two 
uh, stitches like there is here. I was like, hmm. I counted and I counted and I counted light. And I was off one stitch on, you know, on the height. So that would, I think, I don't know where the mistake is, but that would actually mean that I would have to frog ho the whole face. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't want to deal with that. So she went back into the project bag and I haven't touched her for the whole last week. End of story. So, you know, my stitchy bug dis didn't disappear completely. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. I have been stitching on my new start. And if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know which is my new start. And that is another super sized max color Amy Stewart design, a stitching shelf, of course. And it's been amazing. For a whole week, I was kidding it up. Not, you know, kidding it up, but, you know, putting it on bobbins, three uh, strands, three, I think, yeah, strands of DMC on each bobbin on a amazing thread or organizer that Kylie on Instagram, sweet, sweet Kylie made for me. And I've been having it a secret for a while until she opened her store, but now it's open and I can tell you and share with you. And I'm going to do that. She surprised me, seriously blew me away. It's a while back ago. I mentioned it a little bit. I, I said, Kylie, thank you. I'm not allowed to show anything. I'm going to wait to talk about it, but now I can talk about it. She made this huge project bag because I love huge projects and it is perfect. It's big and it's so beautiful. It is so nice. And here is her card. I'm also putting the information. It's because my ring light is so bright. Can I? The sewing shop incorporated. And here is like, no, let, let me show the card first. Here's the information. You can screenshot that. And there's like a little tag. You can write which project you have in the bag. She made a little charm for it with a giraffe. And it's just gonna be all blurry. So sweet. And you have, you know, the animals in the back and it's, it's a vinyl front and you know, oh, you cannot complain of that sound. No, 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 no. Looky here. It's so heavy. My arms get tired. It's a vinyl front. See? And this is my thread organizer. It's so, it's so insane. It's so insane. And here's my fabric. And what do I have here? I have, I have our sweet letter, which I'm keeping in there. And uh, I don't know what this is for. You guys, look at this. This is the inside. It's huge. It's huge. 
<laughs> you know, you can have it as a, you know, it's not Halloween, but you could. I'm sorry. I just can't help myself sometimes. That's... What do you want to see first? She made me the bag. She has sewn the bag herself. I don't understand how you guys do it. D -d 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 I wish I could sew project bags. I wish it so badly, but I don't have the time. I'm not creative enough to do that. Just like, oh, let's do a project bag and sew a little bit here, a little bit there, and there's the bag. No. Let's look at my whip because I know how to cross stitch. Yes, that I know. Of. Oh, it looks amazing in the viewer here. Wow. This is the part threads and I just as all on the other um, full coverage pieces with the, the max colors and all. I'm stitching it like uh, on 20 by 30. So six uh, squares, a cross country stitch and park. And I've been doing that. So this is like the width of a page. And I'm planning on going like uh, another page as well. But wow, look at all those flowers. I really loved stitching it and it's confetti heavy. I think, I'm sorry, I was almost pointing with the wrong finger. Yeah, I think this is like the only place in the pattern so far where there were like a little bit of, you know, color blocking. Yeah, <laughs> so nice. And I stitched. So what did I say it was? Was it 21? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred times three, which is 2,400 stitches. That's not so bad, is it? Not, you know, thinking of how little I have stitched. It sounds so bad because 2,400 stitches in 14 days. I think that's pretty good, actually. Um, uh, but I haven't, you know, spent the amount of time on cross stitching as I usually do. So I think it's pretty good. And the back, you want to see the back? It looks horrible. Horrible. Yeah. That's how it looks sometimes. But I'm very pleased with this. But now it's going away until my wheel will choose it. Or if I feel like now it's time to stitch on my stitching shelf. And there it fell out. I'm sorry. Now I want to show you this amazing thread organizer. I don't remember why I mentioned the thread organizers. I think I was stitching on maybe, uh, what's the name of that? Uh, it's Helen B. Lance. Uh, ah, Deliciosa, Deliciosa. I think I was stitching on her and um, those threads are in a um, bags plus um, thread organizer or stitchy mate. Now I can remember the name. I bought it on Etsy. And then I remember I was saying, oh, imagine if you could get these for a, um, you know, a max color thing. And Kylie just thought I need to make Linda one of those. And she did, and she surprised me. And here it is. This is the whole thing. It holds all my threads for 
the stitching shelf. And it is long. It is long. And I don't want to hold it upside down too much because I, you can see I don't have that much thread on it. I have like, as I said, like I put, took three strands as it comes off the skein and wound it up on each bobbin. So I don't have that much thread on because I just wanted to kit it up and get started. So, but I think if you wind, you know, the whole skein on the, the bobbin, they will stick in there pretty good. So sometimes they fall out. So I try to, you know, have it like this. And then as, as I work, I just roll it and unroll and it works pretty good for me. Um, I'm very, very, very pleased with it. And I don't know, Kylie, if you're going to make these in your shop or if it was just one kind of a thing you made. And then when you have rolled it up, there is a little bottom, bottom here. And I love it. I love it. It is so cool. And I could hang it, you know, on my wall so I could see my beautiful DMCs all day. But I don't think my husband will want that. So I will have to keep it in here. And I keep it in this awesome project bag. It fits in there together with my fabric. Ta-da! So sweet of you, Kylie. And I'm so glad that we can talk about your store so you guys I'm linking Kylie's beautiful store in the description box below where you can find these kinds of bags in different sizes. I know she is also, uh, yeah, what do you call that? She, um, you can also get DMC threads from her store. How great is that to get a project bag and DMC for your project at the same time. It cannot be better than that. So talking about Kylie and her new store, which you have to go and visit. And I know Carlos on Instagram, who I gave a shout out in my last video. He has also purchased, purchased, uh, Kyla's project bag and it looks amazing. They, they, I think they look different from many of the other project bags we see. So I think they're very special. Now, because Kylie is Kylie and she is so sweet and thoughtful, she wants to give away this beautiful, beautiful project bag to you guys. With the tag and her card, with a beautiful charm, and it has this beautiful Japanese, Chinese, Japanese, Asian uh, design to it. And you know, these waves, I think you can see that in artwork and you have to love that sound. No, as you can see, it's a vinyl front and look at the inside of that bag. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
you guys imagine having one of the mirabilias in here you know blossom what's her oh i can't i don't know their names she has at least three or at least two of the asian looking uh mirabilias imagine but more imagine having the scent garden you know the chatelaine's scent garden in here oh my god very well made very pretty this is like there's a lot of space in here um you feel really you know you could have it under your arm walking to you know i like to go to the library sit down and pull your st stitching out and people are going to look at this you know wow they're gonna say what is that did you make that yourself? No, that you can see. You know, Kylie in Canada, she made it. Handmade stuff, you know. I love it. They're very uh, special. As I said, they don't look like any of the other project bags. So Kylie, I think, has made her own thing. And you're not going to be disappointed in this beautiful bag so giveaway don't say giveaway don't say winning and all that you know yes you have to be 18 because i'm going to ask for your address and well i'm not going to say you have to be a subscriber because this is kylie who's giving it away uh but I would appreciate that you subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. You need to leave a comment and um, tell me what shall we say? Mm, oh, one moment, please. 75 years later. You know, the only thing I can come to my, to, to my mind is like, which is your favorite bird? And use the word bird, B-I-R-D. B I R D because there is birds. So let's say birds. You don't have to tell me, you know, which your favorite bird is. You can just say, use the word bird. All right. So I will announce the winner in my next floss tube whenever that will be. Kylie, thank you for the amazing floss organizer, for the amazing project bag, and for the sweet, kind giveaway for my viewers. And I have all this <coughs> dog hair running around in the air. It's not love, it's not love in the air, it's dog hair in the air. Dog hair in the air. Da, da, da. So time is running. I do have a little bit of haul, I do. Um, before we head to haul, you might ask, well, what have you been doing, Linda, since you haven't been stitching that much? Well, if you have been following me on Instagram, you know that I have fallen in love with something else. I have been knitting before on this, showing you a little bit on my channel. I think it was last year. And I knitted for a while. I made a hat last year. I think if you follow me, you remember. I love it. I love it. And I was watching Michelle Bendy stitches and she was having this, you know, uh, yarn advent, uh, advent calendar or something on her channel. And she was stitching a cow and I fell in love with the cow. And then I don't remember how I found this hand dyed yarn, but I found it and I stitched the cowl also last year. And now it's going to be all the sounds in the microphone and I'm sorry about that, but I love it. I love it. You know, you can go really undercover when you're out walking the dogs. I love it. Love, love, love. And I was wearing this the other 
day. Last Friday, me and my mom went to see one comedian guy in Sweden and we were having such a great time. It was the first time for, you know, before COVID, before COVID. And we had such a great time. We were sitting on the second row, just in front of the stage. And he was making so much fun and he jumped my mom and we were laughing. Ah, we had such a great time. I was laughing so hard, you know, my, you know, jaws were hurting. Anyway, I was wearing this and my mom was like, what's that? What's that? And I was like, yeah, you know, I, I needed that. Oh, while back he's like, oh, it's so nice. I love the color. Yeah. And then I started talking about Rachel Ray, you little enabler, you. <laughs> I talked about this shallography, you know, by Stephen, Stephen West. And I've heard about the shawl, you know, I have seen that some of you are knitting this thing. And I'm like, nah, that's nothing for me. I'm never, ever going to knit ever again. It was just a face in 2019. And I'm like, and then I watched the floss tube with Rachel Ray and she started out like with the elephant in the room and it's like oh I'm gonna show you this shawl you know the shawl the Stephen West's uh, mystery knit along and I just dropped my jaw I have never seen anything knitted like that in my whole life I'm like why am I always the last one to the party I want to, I want to knit that thing. I need, oh, I want to knit it now, today. <laughs> Come on, light. Come to me. No? Yeah, thank you. And <clears throat> I started knitting. I'm sorry. But I went to West Knee to see what this shawl was all about. And I was, I was swept away. I was, I cannot, I cannot describe the feeling when I, when I, when I came to the, to the website. And um, again, I was totally blown away. I, I actually never thought I was like going to stitch, no, knit anything. Uh, I'm saying stitch because knitting in Swedish is like sticka. So it's, it's in my mouth and brain, it's like stitch, sticka. It's almost the same thing, but it's not. It's a knitting. And I understand that he's huge. Steven is huge within the knitting community. I did not know that. I know that now. And when I saw his things, I was like, this is like modern knitting. Um, it was the same feeling when I was stitching, you know, the old things like the, I'm not saying dimensions is old things, but you know, that kind of stitching and I found heaven and earth designs. I was totally blown away. I was like, where have you been in my life? You know, and that is how I felt about the knitting. And I want to knit all the things with all the crazy colors because I need color in my life. So yeah, I haven't been stitching too much, but I have been knitting a little bit. So, of course, I couldn't, I didn't have yarn to start doing Stephen uh, West's shawls or anything because I don't have like a yarn stash. But from 2019, where everyone was doing the knit crates and everything like that, I did have some knit crates and I was a great fan of Expression Fiber Arts, I think she's called. So I have some yarn kits from her. So I had, this is not knitting, this is like crocheting. 
So in one day, I crocheted this cow. And I love it. I love it so much. It is so soft and nice. It's not itchy. I love the color. I like the, the marbling in it. And when I'm out with the dogs, I can just squeeze it up in around my neck and close my jacket. It's so nice. I love it. I love it. So I have also been knitting, excuse me, from one of the knit crates. Uh, it's, oh, it's actually January 2020. Ah, I didn't know that. Did I buy them in 2020? Maybe. What happened last year? We don't know. Just the year 2020, just it never happened. Um, the upside down cow with this beautiful yarn, this amazing yarn. I'm knitting this amazing cow and I restarted it once because Okay, to my defense, the pattern is in English and I'm used to, well, first of all, it's like hundreds of years ago, I was actually knitting, knitting, even though I actually made a hat and all. Come on, I don't like when it's so dark. Why is it so dark? Do I need to show my chest? Yeah, you know, the, yeah. <clears throat> used to Swedish patterns all right and so that's my defense I restarted it and then I knitted and knitted and knitted and then I realized I had made a mistake and I'm like never mind I will just fudge it I will just keep it this way no one will know so I'm like ha halfway through the front um, and it's all like, oh my God, I have so much to learn. And, you know, you can see it's not straight. It's like, whoop, like this. And that's because when I'm doing the cabling, you, you know, you're jumping. Let's not point those things into my eyes. When I'm doing the cable, you know, you're switching colors. And since I'm such a newbie at this, uh, I guess this gets a little bit tighter, so it pulls, pulls it up like this. I don't know. And I do not like the back ones like this. But I think there will be something coming. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about... I know I just talked a lot about knitting and everything. But I'm actually thinking that I should do... A little yarn pod or something I didn't know they were called you know podcasts knitting pod podcasts or yarn podcasts I didn't know it was like I didn't know but that floss tube was the thing you know before it was the thing <laughs> so I'm like whoa there's a whole new word for me world for me to explore so instead of, you know, talking all about the knitting, which I don't know if I will, you know, it might be a thing and then I will, I want to separate because, you know, I'm, I can see I'm almost up to an hour and we don't want all the knitting in there as well because then I can stand here and talk all day. All right. So that's that. Um, Uh, now we can talk a little bit about uh, plans for the coming weeks before it's time for my planning kit parade film that I'm planning. I just need to film it. And I'm so bad at, you know, whoops, doing what I have to do. This is the wrong bag. This is not the bag I'm going to show you. Excuse me. This is that. Um, what's happening with my hair? Um, where was I? Um, the, 
yeah um I guess I'm just lazy I don't know I'm tired there is again work it's killing me you know no it's not killing me it's just it sucks it sucks out all the energy you have like that that's how it is but I love my job I love to work but when I get home I just want to stitch or <laughs> knit a little bit uh, and then I just want to go to bed and sleep so I know that filming and then editing and all that takes so much time so it's like Belinda you seriously need to do this now and that is what I have to do with the planning for 2022 uh, and the kit parade thing so it's coming it's coming I swear before new year you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna see it I swear but okay. Why am I talking so much? I've kitted up my next. Tina, it's all for you. It's all for you. I'm I I'm starting another super sized max color museum shelf. Yes, ma'am. And here's the picture. And I'm not going to show you because this is just plain fabric. And I have my, for this, I have my thread organizer, organizers, thread organizers, which I buy on Etsy. So just search thread organizer on Etsy and these will show up. And the great thing is that it is from a European Union seller. So no tag. And it gets to me fast. Oh, that's what's also so great with knitting. I'm sorry, I'm getting off track. But you know, Stephen West, you know, Stephen at Panopoli, 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 Panopoli. Never mind. His store is in Amsterdam. That means no taxes and in. Okay, so that's the plan. I'm not planning on stitching anything else. <laughs> Can you believe that? No, seriously? Well, as long as my stitchy bug is like out hiking, I'm not gonna stitch that, that much, but at least I hope I will get two weeks on my museum shelf and that might turn out to be maybe 2,400 stitches. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? I think so. So that's that. Let me take this off. Whew. It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. So I have this much haul and I'm so proud of myself. Yes, I'm so proud of myself. It's been Black Friday. You know, it's been Chatelaine has been having uh, uh, sales, European Cross co uh, Stitch Company is having sale, Haid is having sales, Gekka Rouge is having sales, everyone is having sales and I'm like, nope, <laughs> nope, I, I have my eyes closed, closed, I'm not, I'm not, but there's a reason to why I say no to it all, but I have a little bit of haul. And yes, some of it is knitting related. So I had had to get this. And this is like a um, counter, um, a round counter? No, what do you call that? Row, row counter. I got that. Let me show. Oh, come on. And I wanted to try out these knitting needles, Chiago, and then I have for finishing. So that's knitting related. And then I bought a bunch of the thread organizers. And I still haven't gotten my book of days. And we're like in December. Not really yet, but soon. 
So I'm a bit worried that it's going to be delayed. So I got myself a notebook, which I'm, it's a, a dotted, oh, it's white. Can you see the dots? Oh, I'm sorry, it's so flashed out. It's just a dotted journal and I'm thinking maybe, you know, I can write down which projects I have, the whip goes and, you know, planning for floss tube and stuff. I can just have a nice book. And the last but not least, people, people, people. people. Um, I couldn't resist. It's the blue flower. from nature to my needle. And I just love this pattern. It reminds me a lot about the, the moonlight sampler. But you, you know, you have the llama, you have the alpaca and some other animal and the silk butterfly and the sheep. There should be a bunny somewhere. Where's the bunny? I don't see the bunny. Oh, maybe that's the bunny there, maybe. But it means like we get our materials from these animals and, you know, we make it to a cross stitch or, you know, knitting. And the, the blue flower um, patterns are nice and big and yeah, I like them. Nice and big patterns. I like that. I can show you. And yeah, in the, in the, you know, in the center of the, the cross stitch pattern, it says, I count not my day complete till, till needle, thread and fabric meet. And it's very nice. I love that a lot. So I couldn't say no to that. That's all the hole I have now. What do you say about that? Yes, I'm very proud of myself. I am awaiting though. Um, come on, give me light. Thank you. Um, I am awaiting, you know, a big haul from um, Hawkins Hobbies. Oh my God, I have... When is this from? The haul is from summer, summertime. Um, it is a Bella Filipina. It's Zodiac Girls. It is Chatelaine, a Chatelaine. They have uh, kitted up for me. And it's because they have been waiting for uh, threads. I think it's both, both Gloriana and the, the Kranich, which is causing some trouble, I think. So, you know, everything is more or less paid for, but it's, you know, the shipping and the, the import fee that is, uh, you know, uh, coming. So we'll see. I don't think, oh yes, there's one of the out of print mermaids uh, from the Mirabilia collection which they had, they had the last one with, you know, the kit and everything. So I'm so happy I got to grab that. But they have been out on some festivals and um, a lot of, you know, I don't think stitch retreats and stuff. So they've been very busy. I think they're back home now, but now, you know, I don't know, Christmas and everything. So it's like, for me, it's no problem at all. It's just, a, it's a bunch of a lot of things so I am getting a huge haul from them sooner or later uh, but just it's nothing I have purchased now it's like old stuff so this is it <laughs> we got through it um, again Daniela congratulations on the amazing giveaway winning winning prize 
you won't you won't regret it i promise i hope you like full coverage so um you guys um give me some thumbs up uh if you're a new subscriber you know don't forget to hit subscribe and if you don't want to miss any of my videos it's not like i'm putting out too many of them but i don't have like a schedule for when i'm putting them out but hit the bell if you don't want to miss out um if you want to support me in my uh you know the content uh there is a link to buy me a coffee down below um and yeah throw me some comments i love to read them um i try to answer all of them of course um follow me over at instagram uh, you can also, you know, private send me messages over there. You can send me an email if you like. Um, so, and to all of you who keeps coming back, thank you so much. I love you guys. Okay, let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching. Where's my bag? I need it back. Bye.